Hi and welcome back to another video of Medic Notes. This video is on testicular torsion. Testicular torsion occurs when the spermatic cord and its contents twists within the tunica vaginalis, compromising the blood supply to the testicle. Testicular torsion is a surgical emergency, as without treatment the affected testicle will infarct within hours. Whilst theoretically it can occur at any age, peak incidence is in neonates and adolescents between the ages of 12 to 25 years. Torsion occurs when a mobile testis rotates on the spermatic cord. This leads to reduced arterial blood flow, impaired venous return, venous congestion, resultant edema, and infarction to the testis if not corrected. Males with a horizontal lie to their testes, often termed a bell clapper deformity, are more prone to developing testicular torsion. In this anatomical variant, the testis lacks a normal attachment to the tunica vaginalis, and is therefore more mobile, increasing the likelihood of it twisting on the cord structures. For risk factors, the main risk factors for developing a torsion are age, most common in 12 to 25 years old, previous testicular torsion or family history of testicular torsion, and undescended testes. For its clinical features, patients will generally present with sudden onset severe unilateral testicular pain. This is often associated with nausea and vomiting, secondary to the pain. Referred abdominal pain can also occur. On examination, the testis will have a high position, with a horizontal lie. It can also appear swollen and will be extremely tender. Classically, the cremasteric reflex is absent and pain continues despite elevation of the testicle, termed a negative Prenz sign. Whilst in one of the differential diagnosis, epididymo or chitis, Prenz test is often positive. The most common differential to exclude is epididymo or chitis. This is normally associated with a more gradual onset of pain, and can be associated with lower urinary tract symptoms and pyrexia. Other differentials include trauma, incarcerated inguinal hernia, testicular cancer, renal colic, hydrocele, idiopathic scrotal edema, and torsion of the hydatid of Morgagni. The diagnosis of testicular torsion is clinical, any suspected cases should be taken straight to theater for scrotal exploration. Doppler ultrasound can be used to investigate potential compromised blood flow to the testis. A urine dipstick can also be performed to assess for any potential infective component, as part of potential differentials. This picture shows a Doppler ultrasound of the scrotum, showing the reduced blood flow. For management, testicular torsion is a surgical emergency with a 4-6 to six hours window from the onset of symptoms, to salvage the testis before significant ischemic damage occurs. Any suspected case warrants urgent surgical exploration of the testis to assess the testes and the spermatic cord for evidence of torsion. Patients should be provided with suitable strong analgesia and antiemetics preoperatively, and made nil by mouth with maintenance fluids prescribed. If torsion is confirmed intraoperatively, the cord and testis will be untwisted and both testicles fixed to the scrotum, termed bilateral orchidopexy. This is to prevent any further torsion episodes. In cases where the testis is non-viable, an orchidectomy may be warranted. Prosthesis can be inserted at time of surgery or at a later date, at the patient request. For its complications, delay in surgical exploration leading to prolonged ischemia can result in testicular infarction. Despite expedient scrotal exploration, detorsion, and orchidopexy, the affected testis may later undergo atrophy. Patients undergoing scrotal exploration should be consented for chronic pain, palpable suture, risk to future fertility, and a theoretical risk of future torsion despite fixation. Testicular salvage rates are 90 to 100 percent if surgery performed within six hours of onset of pain, and this decreases to 50 percent if symptoms are present for more than 12 hours. That's all for this video. Thank you.